Hey guys, what is going on? It's Ben again, and this is my Alienware M11 XR2, which is my main laptop that I use every single day. And it's currently running Windows 10. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that Windows 10 is not my favorite operating system. And I was thinking on how I would be able to get the best of Windows 7 as well as Windows 10 and still run it on my system because the thing is Windows 10 holds everything I have, you know, it holds my editing software, my pictures, my videos, and all that. But every so often I just want to return to, um, you know, Windows 7, so, you know, I thought, why not dual boot? So that's what I did. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video. So I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's get into it. So basically the first thing I did was connect a flash drive. I used a USB hub. I had a second flash drive plugged in. Sorry about that. But anyways, after that, I partitioned my hard drive so that way I would be able to make storage for the Windows 7 drive. After this, I booted from my bootable flash drive that I had made using Rufus in Windows 7 for Windows 7. And afterwards, I officially began to boot up the start for Windows 7. After completing the installation, which took a very long time, I eventually actually had Windows 7 running on my system. And it seemed to run pretty well, um, I need, I've i had to figure out a way to install the drivers, and this wasn't exactly this wasn't exactly a final version of Windows 7, it was actually a tiny 7 ISO, so that way it would fit in a small footprint, and I wouldn't have such a large installation file in order, so that way I wouldn't have to bore you guys. But after I installed it, it seemed to run pretty well. So now I wanted to show you guys what happens, you know, if I restart my computer, you know. So I'm just gonna restart my computer and it's going to go to a special boot manager that starts when you start, when when you dual boot your computer. So let's see how that works. And here it is. So here's the boot manager. Um, it says choose an operating system to start or press tab to select the tool. So I have my options. I have Windows 7 or Windows 10. If I want Windows 7, I'll just go into Windows 7. Here it is, it's gonna start up Windows 7. Which I think is pretty cool that you can dual boot on a, on a one hard drive. Because the thing is, on my PC build... On my PC build, I use two separate hard drives for two different operating systems, Windows and OS X, so that way I won't have any conflicting issues. But this is a reliable SSD, so I think it'll last. Here, oh, it's going to actually... Oh, there we go. Yeah, see, it's a tiny 7 x 86 so you just got your little, um, thingies, but <laughs> afterwards, um, it's a full version of Windows 7, as you can see, it's running well. Um, I don't have any drivers installed, nor network drivers, so I'll probably do this after I turn off my cameras, but, um, yeah, so there we go, it's, it's Windows 7. So, the thing is, I don't even have to go to boot options, it just boots up and goes straight to a boot manager, so I'm just gonna choose Windows 10. It'll boot up. It does flicker a little bit for some reason. And there we go. Windows 10. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it. I just wanted to show you guys how I managed to dual boot Windows 7 and Windows 10 on one laptop. Yeah, I was going to use a Toshiba Satellite L305, which is this big bad boy right here. Um, it's actually already running um, Windows 7. But, um, I had some issues with it installing, and it wouldn't boot from a flash drive. So, that put an end to that idea. But, it's okay. It wasn't really meant to work out, anyway. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it. I know this was kind of a short video, but I really wanted to get something out to you guys and show you that it is possible to dual boot Windows 7 and Windows 10. You've probably seen videos all over, but here was my version, I guess. And I hope this serves a little bit as a guide, as it is very easy to actually dual boot your system. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like. Thanks for watching. It's been Vasquez, signing out.